Beautiful. It's time to leave Amritsar. We are going to Goa and this uh, guest has been incredible. Thank you so much for hosting me. For my pleasure. My pleasure. Two and a half nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> super nice. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, time to go. The taxi yeah. is here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you coming with me or you come with me? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah? Don't yeah. worry, he's coming. Ah, he's coming to help us? Okay. He's, he's coming to pick the bus. Oh, the same taxi driver. Yeah, How are you? <laughs> Namaste, bye. Namaste. How are you? Oh, no, it's oh, okay. You can help me. Thank you. So the taxi is uh, fully paid, right? Yeah, totally. So totally I don't need to pay. No, anything. no, no. Thank you. Nice. Please uh, say thank you to. Muskan. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a great day and thank you so much for everything. Have a nice day. And See you day. next time. Once I'm in Amritsar. Happy and yeah. Thank you. Sure, bye bye. Sure, sure. See you, brother. Sure. I'm gonna give you a good review, don't worry. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> bye, bye. bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> They've been this uh, next hotel. I'm going leaving, brother. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All the best to you. See you again. And see you next time in Amritsar. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Maya. Maya. Time to go. Boss, here's my water bottle. What is this? Okay. Sitting? G, bye bye. See you. Namaste. Okay. This has been an incredible three days in Amritsar. Even though I was uh, sick for a bit, but time to go to next destination, to South, to Goa. Oh, horn, Bob, Bob. Papa. Again. <laughs> bye bye. Namaste. Namaste G. Bye bye. This was the gentleman who I was buying coconuts from him. Okay, horn game starts now. Rule number one use horn as much as you want. Rule number two. It shouldn't make any sense, just horn it. Okay guys, we are by the Amritsar, uh, in the, by the Golden Temple here. Next, gonna be uh, seeing you at the airport. We are going to go flying for three hours, by for now. The domestic flights are so chill always. It was like sub super easy. I'm like almost three hours early to the flight, like two and a half. I thought it will take longer time, but uh, it was super easy to pass through the security. And now we are here, it's like super chill. So quiet, no announcements, nothing. What we have here? We have a little bar here. These are sandwiches and drinks. It's called Cram Bar. We have a costa here for coffee. I feel like getting some something to eat maybe. We have a Assam tea, green tea, cold beverages. Hello, namaste. And this is the food presentation, how it looks like. Hmm, there's a paratha with some dahi. This looks like all vegetarian food. Hi. And there's also some different type of all day menu. Not sure what they recommend. I want to try this probably, whatever is that in the picture. Hello, brother. What is this uh, name? It's good? No. It's not good. <laughs> Ah, finish. Okay. Uh, this food? Yeah, you have it? Mumbai Pao Baji. Okay. I can have one? One? For me, yeah. It's spicy or no? Okay. 
good one. yeah it's good one okay perfect i will have one of that please tea um no no tea later 220 220 let's see what we have here there's a 500 20 change huh? 20 change 20 20 yeah i have 20 here thank you is it uh, possible to fill this up with water water you have water bottle water. of water yeah big bottle i have such a big container here thank you This is what we are getting. There's some bread and then the main food. There's onions with lime. Picture looks good. But I'm not sure if it's gonna look as good as in real life. Okay, thank you. Danawad. This is the coffee area they have. Oh, they have a nice cakes here. Belgian truffle cake slice. Hmm, I might get that later. This is a pure vegetarian section. It seems like there's also some type of uh, meat lover pepperoni. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I could go for that. Okay, I don't trust airport food, but we're gonna see what comes out. See you in a bit. Thank you. As I have expected, it doesn't look same as in the picture. It was more attractive there. We have a bun here, which is normal bread. And then we have a vegetarian food here. There's a nice cute spoon. We also have the onions, which is split from the rest. Oh, now announcement started. Traveling code Indigo, flight 6048 to Delhi. Delhi. It's not for us. Thank you. Thank you too. Eh, let's try this out. I have no idea, but probably it's like a dal with some spices. Hmm. Hmm, this is good actually. A little, a little bit spicy as well, as you would expect uh, since we are in India. Hmm, it's good. My camera position is not perfect. But now it is. We also have the bun, which we're gonna test out. Even though we are at the airport, we're gonna eat like local. I think in India no one cares really. It's the way to eat. Mm. It's good. Before the oh, I just realized I actually have a food included in the price of the ticket. So which means in one hour and a half we're gonna eat again. It's gonna be a double dinner. This is really good. I'm not gonna eat the onions because then I'm gonna smell. But this is good. I like it. And we paid 200, uh, which is a lot for such a type of food. But since we are at the airport, uh, which is 2.5 American dollars, still affordable. For Indians, it might be expensive if you're just traveling domestically. Beautiful. I'm gonna enjoy my food and we might go for some dessert or something later on. We also have a sweet shops here. This is one called Cindy's Sweets and Souvenirs, and another one called Choco Lane. I love chocolate, so we're gonna go for this. Hello, namaste. How are you? Fine, sir. Oh, very good. We have my favorite chocolates here. I love Lindt. I love MM Dance, Milk Way. Brings back all the memories from childhood. <laughs> What's your favorite chocolate here? Uh, my favorite 
Oh, a tabla run. Ah, that's a very classic one. Yes. I think uh, I love this Maltesers. I'm gonna have uh, probably one of those. And there's also we have this Galaxy Minis, which looks nice too. And this section is also chocolate. Wow. This is more like uh, bigger packages. I think I'm gonna go for teasers. How much? Um, how much is this? Maltesers? One thousand. One thousand. No, no, no. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. No. Okay, that's expensive, but mm. I love my stomach. Okay, then. No, no, I, I have it. I, I have okay. it. Yeah. No, I say it's expensive, but I like my stomach, okay, so I pay for it. Uh, sorry in airport. yeah in the airport but uh, in India you cannot find this right okay. you cannot find in the normal shop uh -huh. so it's, it's very exclusive uh, India mein aapko, uh, normal shop mein nahi no they don't have this yeah no. so yeah and this no probably airport. no airport uh -huh. okay this probably comes from Dubai maybe huh? okay everything also sir Huh? Everything else? Uh, yeah, just okay. this, only this. Yeah. Okay. How much is it? Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Let me see. I have uh, five hundred here. And then, okay, I'm gonna give you another five hundred, please. Very nice. It's a very rich shop. Thanks. Sir. On the way to your next flight, you can get some snacks. And they also have uh, Skittles here, Hershley's, Kisses, KitKat, mm. all the brands. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. Just take this. You don't need my boarding pass, no, for this? Honey? No boarding pass. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. Amazing. I'm happy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Yes, Thank you. Bye-bye. See you. Beautiful. We have our dinner, which was the first part. There are gonna be second part in the plane. We have a water bottle filled up, so we're gonna stay hydrated. And also we have the desserts. I got the Maltesers, which uh, ah, it has extra chocolate. That's why it has a bluish part. That's a different branding. Looks great. Anyway. See you later guys, I think when we are in the plane, I will connect with you. Bye for now. Finally on to the flight. My seat is 19D, I think. Somewhere in the behind. <coughs> what is this? 14D, 15, almost there. Thank you. Here we go. 19D. sit in the aisle oh, you want to position, please? because I need to go to the toilet and it's hard to wake up everyone and surprisingly they're asking to have a mask on the Very good. airplane strong yeah actually Papa flying Papa. from Bali all the way here they didn't even ask for a flight from Bali to uh, Amritsar but yep. domestic flight they do Anyway, people are coming. See you later when the food is here, maybe. We are getting a mango smoothie there, which is included in the flight ticket. And then Briani gets ready.
sorry. Are you recording something? Yeah, just the food. Oh, so, uh, open it up eight minutes. Thank Be you. Careful. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, we have the biryani. Is this a soup biryani? Uh, kind of, but we have to open after eight minutes. Eight minutes? Yes. We are arriving after eight <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Chicken curry rice ready in eight yes, minutes. Yes, sir. What do you like to have? What options do you have? Upma, uh, Maggie, chicken noodles, and yeah, chicken curry rice, cashew nut, almond. Uh, we'll have chicken curry rice and uh, mango juice. Okay, we have to wait eight minutes, guys. Mm. We'll see you later. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm sitting here with a. Uh, Nice family. They are going to Goa for a vacation. And it's this baby's first flight. <laughs> and also, also birthday, so right? So far, he's so good. Nice. He's sleeping nicely. See you in a while, guys. I need my biryani to be ready. Eight minutes. I still. Is this a soup? Is this a soup or normal biryani? Okay. Yeah, uh, it will soak the water, will soak the rice. Rice are like uh, ah, so dry rice. She put the hot water, water in the rice. Uh, okay. So it's normal biryani. <coughs> she put the uh, hot water, so rice gonna soak the, all the water, and it's gonna be ready to eat. It's a chicken biryani. See you. Excuse me. Yeah. It's mango. So it's time to open the biryani. It's not really biryani. She told me it's a chicken biryani, but it's a chicken curry rice actually. So we're gonna open up and see what comes out. Let's see it. I have zero expectations can come out from here. Oops. <laughs> Seems to be good. Oh, it smells good. So this is the instant chicken curry rice. It took eight minutes to get ready. And it's time for you as well. In 10 seconds you can open. <laughs> Nice, looks good. Should I open for you? Yes. Okay, it's time to test out the uh, biryani. I have uh, this little spoon here. There's some chicken at the top. I think that's gonna be the all. I don't think we're gonna find more chicken downstairs. No, no chicken downstairs. No chicken downstairs. <laughs> it's only on the top. Okay, let's go for it. It's a 180 American dollar flight and we are having an instant chicken rice. Mm. Mm. A little bit salt would be nice, but it's not too bad. How's it? It's good. You like it? Yeah. Yours is a little bit more watery. Mm, yes. Mine is like super dry. Yours is biryani, mine is curry rice. Ah, yours is curry rice. Yours is biryani. Show me the picture. No, we have the same. Like I have more curry, you have biryani. <laughs> it's dry. Ah, that's the secret. Yes. How to make biryani. Okay, I'm being scammed in the airport. It's biryani, but we are getting curry rice. It's very good. We also have the mango smoothie thing, which is super sweet. So yeah, I booked this flight four hours before the departure. I paid 108 American dollars for three-hour flight and they're providing you food as well as seat, which
which is not a bad deal for a last minute flight. More chicken than I can find here. Is a big piece. Very nice. Are you eating her chickens too? Yes. She's not having. Ah, she's not having chickens. She didn't like it. Ah, this is the type of relationship I'm looking for, brother. <laughs> she shared her chicken with me. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, guys, time to finish. I think they are collecting things. Bye. Finally arrived to Goa and this is the advertisement pops up. It says Colombo, Sri Lanka, Bellagio. Let's go. It's at the moment 1.30 a.m. So it's already next day. And one of the things you notice is that there are lots of this casino advertisements all over the airport as soon as you arrive. And we also have some spicy advertisement on the top when you want to exit the airport here we go I'm not sure where we can get a prepaid taxis but let's find out Ooh. this is a very very busy airport no, no, thank you no no thank you so we just got to Goa airport I have no idea how to get taxi but um, we're gonna I guess avoid all these people who is talking to us uh, I see there is a one taxi sign on the other side so I think that's where we have to go Based on my travel experiences, never take the first option. Always have, always explore more options before you go for the the convenient one. I see that there's a taxi stand, so I think that's where we have to get the prepaid taxi. Let me see what we have. Okay, finally we have the taxi. He's gonna let us in. Okay, thank you boss. Oh, air conditioning, huh? Very nice. So this is the Great Goa Airport. Lots of cars, lots of tourists here as well. Which looks nice so far but obviously lots of casino advertisements seems like uh, Goa gonna be famous for casinos I'm not sure it's my first time here so very happy to explore and see what the city has to offer which every Indian is talking about you have to go Goa you have to go Goa and I'm, I'm here let's see Hey guys, next is to go to the hotel, check in and afterwards there are gonna be more videos from Goa and I'm gonna show you around as well. Thank you so much for watching my flight and all the experiences. See you. Good morning guys from Goa this is my actually fourth or fifth day here which I haven't still explored Goa I didn't go outside I've been quite sick again uh, I think I took the flight which was like three hours from Amritsar all the way to Goa which didn't affect me really well and I got even worse so I had to stay in the room and recover and uh, I'm staying in a really nice place so I want to take the opportunity to show you where I'm staying with a family it's kind of like family stay and you can also call it, call it a villa and uh, it's 100 plus years old and it's actually old Portuguese house so from the colonization time uh, these houses are here and now people switched it to the business and themselves as well living here so 
still recovering but I'm feeling better now and probably today we're gonna go outside and explore around Goa and see what's expecting us in this beautiful city because everyone been talking about this for a long time in my comment section so I wanna give a proper test and also make sure that uh, we are exploring all the important places in Goa this is the balcony area of my room I'm not gonna show you my room but I'm gonna show you a different room uh, because I've been sleeping there for five days it's quite messy but uh, this is the balcony you have this swinging chair as well which is super cool you have a place to sit a small sofa table and also you have a beautiful views to the greenery and one of the things you noticed about this Goa is that everywhere is so green and so nice and uh, yeah it's more tropical areas and looks super nice and super relaxing as well let me show you one of the rooms actually so basically I have also a door here which takes me to the room and you can come to the balcony there's also another door where you can exit from here hello brother how are you I'm, <laughs> I'm making a video okay, <laughs> I want to record everything yeah, no problem. it's okay yeah, no problem. I want to show them this room is it fine uh, it's a long time. yeah uh, somebody's coming. I can show now for two minutes? Yeah, no cool. problem. From here you can yeah, there's nobody now, no? no? Okay, perfect. Just one minute, I show the room. So it's quite a big room, so as you can see, it's more like a villa style. There's a place to sit in the middle, there's a chair as well as double bed. We have uh, two fans. Uh, this room is actually a little bit bigger than mine, but you get the idea. And there's uh, air conditioning, actually two of them. And as well as this one has a balcony which looks very nice as well so you can go out with your family and enjoy some time here which is super super nice so it's amazingly organized and super clean and they kept it in a very good condition like I have no problems with anything to be honest so everything works perfectly and also give you idea of the shower and the toilet it's a huge bathroom as you can see we have a shower which is occupying the another end of the bathroom we have a big sink here as well where you can do your morning things and we have a toilet here also there's a space to put your stuff and get prepared for the shower which looks nice as well as there's a extra fan in this room as well beautiful it's a uh, incredible and this is actually my room I'm gonna give you a little idea where I've been sleeping so it looks super messy but I have a place to sit there and then I have the double bed fan as well as air conditioning is working at the moment and that's the toilet area so quite a big space actually let's go check it out other stuff and one of the things you notice is that all these decorations uh, from the Hinduism but afterwards you're gonna see actually some Christianity items as well so on this corner there's a Buddha statue as well which just looks nice looking nice lots of decorations on the walls which is incredible and we are getting to the common area this is more like a living room or used to be a living room for the family uh, but now it's also a common area which you can use there is a space for a big uh, dinner table as well as there is more decorations on the walls which looks amazing so as you can see these are i think it's about the christianity i think this is the jesus picture so which looks beautiful this is all artwork and antique stuff so probably costing right now millions of dollars for sure and once you get out this is the area where I get my breakfast actually every morning so my breakfast is already ready I'm gonna come in a few minutes back and then eat this is the kitchen area which is not really common but uh, this is where I come get some water and get some fruits normally they have fruits here as you can see it looks super clean and super nice and another thing is that they actually have a pool upstairs which is also for my use 
uh, if I want to go to the pool. I had I haven't tried still because I've been sick, just sleeping whole day, whole whole night. But um, the pool is there. I already seen it. After our breakfast, we can go upstairs and check it out as well. And I can show you during the daytime how it looks like. I'm getting uh, milk actually here with honey, which helps me with my throat. Mm. Very nice. We are having uh, fresh fruits every morning. Either it's bananas or papayas. Uh, we have here toasted bread actually. So I'm getting uh, four pieces of toasted bread. We have a little jam here. We also have a butter, which I'm gonna use all of them and eat all of them. And this is the uh, scrambled eggs, which I ordered, which comes with different type of veggies inside. And it's always super good. So let's test out some stuff here. So, so far I've been quite alone actually in the hotel, there's not so many people, not sure what's the, maybe it's not the season, maybe there's not many guests, but yeah, I've been quite alone and enjoying this place. So what I do normally, European style breakfast. Uh, you can have some butter, some jam, and spread it out and then eat it. That's what I normally do every morning here. But they also have the Indian breakfast version of it. I'm expecting that that's gonna be a little bit heavier breakfast, so I haven't tried it yet. But so far I've been having this for last four mornings, and which tastes good. We have, I think, here pineapple jam. And we have a butter as well. Mmm. Super crunchy. So yeah. It's been a quite nice to be here. Especially how quiet is it, how nice is it. And uh, including the pool, breakfast, nice people. Which is very good start of Goa, even though I'm a little bit sick. but. The guy's been taking care of me quite well. So, after my breakfast, I'm gonna take you all the way upstairs to show you the pool. And um, let, let's see what else we find here. Thank you. This is the beautiful scenery you have all around the house. It's quite a big area. This actually where is the building itself. Then you come all the way up here take a few more steps and then you can get to the pool hello boss how are you this is another gentleman working here cleaning the pool nice so you have a big pool here and as well as there are and as a more like a cottage style you can rent for two families maybe four or five people can sleep there if you want to chill here which looks very nice so I'm not sure if I'm gonna ever be able to go in not sure how cold is the water probably not heated up oh, it's quite warm actually so not so cold we'll see there's no guests here no guests, so I can relax here. Ah, oh, this looks nice, beautiful. So you might be wondering how much we pay for the room. So it cost me around 66 American dollars per night. And considering that it's a old heritage house, as well as you can be two people and pay half half, $30, $30. And there's a breakfast included, there's a pool, which I feel like it's a very good price. It's gonna be costly for me because I've been staying, getting stuck here for a few days uh, due to my sickness, but uh, that's what it takes. I need to recover so I can explore the rest of the India. And the days are going from my visa actually, so I have only 30 days to spend here. Uh, 
I can see inside? Yeah. Okay, thank you. you. It's okay, I go myself, yeah. I just go explore and then come out. Thank you. So, we also... Yes. No, no, no cleaning. It's okay. I go probably tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. So, we have the chance actually to go explore inside the cottage. There's uh, these cute doors here, which you can pull, open some. Oh, very nice. We have uh, two single beds here. Sorry? Uh, it's okay, I think. There's lights here. Okay. It's gonna... Ah, it's here, right? Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. And there's a way to go upstairs? Uh, or it's only one room? Uh, yeah, small ah. kitchen. Uh -huh. Nice, wow. This is a very compact place. And then you can actually go upstairs. Oh, nice. We have a balcony there. I've been a little disoriented. I don't know where to go. Left, right, straight. Oh, cool. You have this small balcony here with a beautiful views to the pool and to the Goa city. Let's check it out. Oh, this is beautiful. So you rent this together or yeah. separately? Only together? Uh, no rent. Ah, separately? Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. Very nice. So we have a double bed here. There is a wardrobe on the wall. And then this is the area for the toilet and the bathroom. We have a toilet right there. And also this is the bathroom area. They have this heating system, which is super fast actually. Oh, we have a book from Dan Brown. Nice, thank you brother. We have air conditioning and we also have the fan as in the AH room. Thank you brother, you can turn off. I'm gonna go downstairs, check the room again. This is the incredible views you get. There's also a small kind of garden area. Seems like there's something more upstairs. This is the end of the garden? Uh, yes, sir. This is end of the garden? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Don't worry, please. You've been super nice to show me. I want to see the room, this one, properly again. So yeah, I just I just check this here and come. So there's a small kitchen here, but upstairs no kitchen, no. only here. Yeah. Okay. So if you rent it together, it's perfect actually for four people or so. You have a shower here, you have a sink and a mirror, and then toilet is just behind the door. And then this was the bedroom area. Very nice. And then we have the garden area. Let's see what's expecting us there. So this is the this is the end of the garden or yeah. there's more? Ah, this is the end. Yeah. Okay. And you grow something here? There is something to eat here or no? No. <laughs> okay. It's super nice. All greenery, but it looks like they're taking care of this place as well. Some being, someone being gardening here, watering and stuff. But it's super peaceful, super nice. We are surrounded by all these trees. Oh, we have a massive spider right here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my God, that's a crazy big spider. Okay, I'm gonna use my tripod to bring you closer. Look at this. It's so big. It's moving somewhere. I'm not sure exactly what you have seen. But I try to be closer as possible. It's a massive net. It starts from here, goes all the way up. But it's not so clear, I think, from here. Wow. Crazy nature. Amazing. It's 
it's a beautiful place as I said I think it's worth the price for sure considering that it's not a hotel concept it's more one-to-one -one oriented hospitality so you can have a room service you can have a breakfast as you want whenever you want last time I actually had breakfast for lunchtime which they've been super flexible with me that I was sleeping for a long time and wake up they said ah, you want breakfast I said yeah for sure let's get it okay I'm gonna chill here for for a bit I think enjoy the Sun maybe Sun vitamin C can help me to recover faster that would be super cool that's very nice okay my beautiful subscribers I'm gonna sign out from here if I go out today go I'm gonna show you around if not we go tomorrow for sure because I want to check out from here this is been long five days being stuck in the same room so I want to go explore and see what's expecting us in famous Goa see you guys thank you so much for following and until next time